Well, we got a lot to talk about here today, Michael. Do we know? Yeah. All right, so the first thing, obviously, is Rhea Ripley. She was forced to vacate the women's title on Raw Monday. And got a lot to say. So we talked about it yesterday. First off, how much it sucks when people get hurt. And, you know, yesterday I was thinking about, well, we had this road to WrestleMania. It was her and Becky Lynch. And, you know, who's going to win that match? And I and actually many others argued, well, Rhea should retain. Number one, because a lot of baby faces are going over. We should have a few heel wins. And technically, you know, at the time she was a heel and Becky was a baby face. And she's also hot. She's the hottest women star in the company and one of the hottest stars, male or female, in the entire company. And so it didn't seem right to, uh, to beat her. And so then the night after WrestleMania, she did a brawl backstage with uh, Liv. And during the brawl, she got thrown into a wall and she got injured. And apparently it was a an AC joint injury, which is a shoulder separation. And I've suffered a shoulder separation before. Sucks. And, uh, you know, there, there are various grades. It's like grade one, grade two, grade three, I believe. And, you know, depending on what grade you have, that, that uh, tells you the severity. So I don't remember what mine was, but I do remember. I know this will be hard for some of you to believe. But I was once very big and strong, and uh, I could bench over 200 pounds. And after I suffered my injury, I could not bench the bar, which is 45 pounds. I literally could not bench the bar one time. It was bad. And so uh, with an AC joint injury, it's usually, depending on the severity, it's, you know, few... uh, I I forget what I wrote in the deal. Uh, I think... Four to six weeks to regain mobility, and usually in about three months, you're good to go, okay? So, serious injury, and we don't know what the severity is, but it's serious, okay? So then, you know, there were people online, they said, you know, if this happened to a man, it wouldn't be stripped of the title. And they brought up that uh, Seth Rollins badly injured his knee uh, around the time of the Royal Rumble. And he missed months. They did not strip him of the title. And he was able to make it back in time for WrestleMania. What's so funny? Just the difference between the two situations. Well, he, here's I mean, what I let's thought. Let's be honest here. With Seth Rollins' knee injury, with the type of knee injury that it was, he was only going to be out about four weeks. Right? Well. We you we know, actually don't know how long we don't know how long she'll be out. It could be it could be you know two months, could be longer. Okay, but I was thinking about this. Hold on. So, Seth Rollins was the champion at Royal Rumble, and originally, the match which had been already built for weeks and weeks and weeks was Seth Rollins CM Punk for the title at WrestleMania. And so, obviously, CM Punk also got hurt. And they started to do that storyline with Drew McIntyre. And, yeah, you could have stripped Seth of the title and, what, done a tournament culminating at some match at WrestleMania or whatever. Or you could do what they did, which I thought, I mean, if you look at, we could talk about WrestleMania business later. Nobody can argue that it was a failure, what they ended up doing with Seth and Cody and Rock and Roman. It was a gigantic Enormous success, okay? Now, Rhea Ripley. Well, let's think about this. I want you to, I want everyone to suggest who do you believe should be beating Rhea Ripley like right now? Piper Niven? Chelsea? Well, who? Well, as I thought about it, it's like, okay, we uh, we could, we could just, uh, you know, keep Rhea on ice for two, three months. And then as champion, she just has a match with Liv Morgan and then and then she beats her. Okay, you could do that. But honestly, is it not better that the unbeatable Rhea Ripley got injured backstage, was forced to give up her title 
Did you see the reaction that she got last night when she had to come out and everybody knew she was going to have to give up the title? She was the biggest baby face last night. And she had to lay down that belt that nobody could beat her for. It was stripped of her wrongly. And now she's going away and Liv is bragging about it and she's happy about it and she says that Rhea deserved it. And Liv is now a full-on heel. She'll probably win the title. Undeserved is how they'll push it. You know, I don't know who her her opponent's going to be or whatever. And then they build to the big return of Rhea Ripley at SummerSlam, going for the title she never lost and getting revenge on Liv Morgan, winning the title in that giant stadium or whatever. Bro, that's way better than just a random Rhea Ripley title defense against Liv Morgan. So my point is... I don't know if they had to strip her, but when I think about it, I think this might have been the best thing for her and for her reign and for, you know, her and Liv, both. So anyway, that's what I thought watching last night. She was so over, dude, and people hated Liv Morgan. It's already hotter because of what happened. Rhea Ripley goes away hot. And for all the reasons that you just mentioned, you don't want to have an injury of any kind to anybody. But if there's going to be an injury, you look at, what okay, what can be the silver linings here? And Rhea Ripley departs as hot as she possibly could be coming off her win at WrestleMania in this long title reign. Nobody has beaten her. You have built-in stories with Liv Morgan now, including turning her to heel. When Rhea comes back, you can... See, throughout all this time, where are we at with the Judgment Day? Does that, you know, there, there's so much here that, again, you don't want to see anybody get hurt, but now that she's gotten hurt, what can we do? Well, there's a lot actually on the table there when it comes to her. So, again, it, it, there's no there's no positive to it other than she's going to come back not only just as hot, I would think, but actually red hotter because... At some point, she's going to be a full-fledged baby face, and maybe we're waiting right now. Maybe they're not sure on on what they want to do exactly with the WWE Women's Championship and who is going to be involved in it because we do have the draft starting up next Friday on SmackDown. So they may be dotting some I's and crossing some T's there because I would think Liv Morgan is the person to win it, but it's not like she's going to be feuding with Maxine Dupree right after that. Do you bring over a Bianca or somebody from the SmackDown roster so they can beef over that belt? So they did uh, They did mention the draft is in two weeks, and uh, they also, and they will, by the way, apparently be announcing the match for the uh, the vacant women's title on social media somewhat Naturally. soon so follow wwe social media everybody to find out who's going to be in this match next i'd Monday. rather just follow the front page of this website and have them report it for me well we will so anyway they also did something else which was uh they should have you know they've, they've done this already once with other belts but the they are no longer the raw tag team championships they are now the world tag team championships uh truth and our truth and Miz were given new belts which miles beyond those old stupid dime belts that they had yes. those stupid round belts with the stupid non-tapered leather strap that just looked horrible yeah. like I, I wouldn't even take that as a gift those stupid looking belts yeah, kill the coins kill the pinky rings too i hate the big wwe pinky ring so they got rid of those belts and so now on smackdown i presume they will now be the wwe tag team championships and so we will not have that issue that we had when this moron Vince was running Raw and SmackDown, where we had Raw and SmackDown specific titles, and then champions got drafted to the other brand, and then had to switch belts. Remember when Becky and and uh, Charlotte Oscar. had to switch belts? Oh, Charlotte and Charlotte <laughs> dropped it, and like yes. that legitimately. I mean, I talked about it at the time, but we found out later it was true. That caused real issues, and it was so stupid. Now we don't have to worry about it. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button and you'll never miss a video again.